Welcome to week two of Dynamic Duos. Last week, you all took a connection assessment to learn more about your current relationships, and there are probably some areas of encouragement, some areas of disappointment. We're gonna take this again in six weeks and see how we've grown. Our relationships are not gonna be perfect in six weeks, but hopefully we've begun the process of creating more meaningful relationships. You know, we started with one phone call with the purpose of finding out how our friends are really doing. You likely learned something new about that friend and I'm sure they appreciated the opportunity to share. Don't let this be a one-time thing. Continue to make those types of calls a regular part of your friendships. Today, we're gonna to continue learning from each other. In school, I never really liked when teachers assigned group projects and I'm guessing people didn't really like having me in their group either. I just always thought it was faster to do it by myself. I like to do things my way and not have to compromise on anything. I didn't wanna hear any feedback on my ideas. I didn't wanna deal with working around other people's schedules. It was just easier to do the project alone. But I've learned there's some truth to the saying, if you wanna go fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, go together. It's faster to do the project alone, but more input usually leads to better ideas. You know, feedback can be hard to hear, but it leads to improvement. You may not always get your way, but you'll almost certainly get a better project. And instead of relying on only your own knowledge, ideas, skills, you can use the knowledge, ideas, and skills of multiple people. We can learn from each other, and in the process, we all improve. The same is true for every aspect of our life. We can become better spouses by learning from other married couples. We can become better parents by learning from other parents. We can become better at our job by learning from other people in our field. And we can definitely grow in our faith by learning from other Christians as well. One of the most detrimental effects of isolation and shallow relationships is that it robs us of so much valuable learning. A part of sharing our lives with other people is getting to learn from their experiences, perspectives, successes, failures. And this is our first characteristic of dynamic duos. They learn from each other. Well, meaningful friendships are ones where we are constantly learning from and learning with that person. Our duo this week is Philip and the Ethiopian from Acts chapter 8. This is a unique duo in the Bible. So Philip is a disciple, a Jewish man that was running a ministry serving widows out of this church in Jerusalem before persecution forced him to leave town. And now he's living in Samaria trying to preach the good news about Jesus to a culture that knew nothing about this religion. He was not wealthy or prestigious. He didn't have a fancy title or impressive credentials. He was respected by some, but others thought he was totally crazy. Now, on the other hand, you have the Ethiopian who had all these things. He was the secretary of the treasury for the queen of Ethiopia. He was one of the wealthiest people in the area. He was royalty. He was a big deal. The Holy Spirit brought these two opposite characters together on a deserted road. One was walking along the dusty road. The other was riding in a chariot and reading from the book of Isaiah. Philip asked the Ethiopian as he passed, do you understand what you're reading? And the Ethiopian answered, how can I understand unless someone explains it to me? The Ethiopian could only get so far on his own. He had the scriptures, but he needed someone who understood them better than he did. He would only figure out so much on his own, but he ended up learning so much more with Philip's perspective and knowledge. The Ethiopian did two things that are often so hard for us to do. First, he admitted that he didn't know everything and he had a lot to learn. And second, he asked for Philip's input. You know, stubborn independence wants us to believe that admitting we have something to learn means we're not smart enough or equipped enough or capable on our own. But learning always requires vulnerability and being honest about what we don't know if we're going to grow. You know, these past few years, I've been learning to play golf, and I used to think golf was pretty simple. Any sport where you eat a hot dog in the middle of the game could not possibly be hard. But I've learned the golf swing it takes years to master and you cannot do it by yourself. I could go to a driving range and take a hundred swings, but I don't know what I don't know. I can only adjust and fix my swing so much. Eventually, you have to go to someone who is better than you and ask for advice. If all my shots are going right and I don't know why, I'll never be able to fix it. I need someone to point out and, and tell me what I'm doing wrong and how to fix it 
if I'm ever going to get better because I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You, know, you can go through life using trial and error to solve all your problems until you figure it out yourself, but it's a lot faster to turn to someone who already knows the answer. You know, parenting is a lot easier when other parents share their best strategies with you. You are not the first couple to ever have conflict in your marriage. You probably know a couple that's overcome conflict and has some wisdom they could pass on. Bible studies, small groups, it's not just learning about from the Bible, it's about learning from each other. The burden you're trying to carry that's getting too heavy, someone might know a better way to carry it, or better yet, how to get rid of it altogether. But we'll never know if we don't have the humility to admit what we don't know and ask for advice. Dynamic duos are not about pairing a teacher and a student or, or a mentor and a mentee. In most relationships, there will be times when you're the teacher and times when you're the student. Sometimes we're both at the same time. You know, Philip taught the Ethiopian about the meaning of that passage in Isaiah, but the Ethiopian taught Philip something about Jesus too. You know, Philip didn't know a lot of people that looked like this man. He didn't know much about Africa or the people that lived there. He was still learning that Jesus' message of grace and forgiveness in life wasn't just for religious people. It was for everyone. Now, this encounter with the Ethiopian expanded Philip's worldview and his understanding of the gospel. None of us are always going to be the expert. None of us are always going to be the student. There is something we can learn from everyone. There is some piece of knowledge, some experience, some insight that we can pick up from everyone we meet. In your groups, you're going to talk about how we can be more open to learning from others and how we can be better teachers to others. You know, life is hard enough as it is. It's a lot harder when we try and do it all on our own, convinced that we don't need anybody's help or anybody's advice. Dynamic duos are constantly learning and growing and improving together. And this is our first step towards more dynamic and meaningful relationships. We get to practice being open and honest and vulnerable right now in our groups. You know, we can head into our discussion expecting to learn something from each other. I hope you all have a great discussion and take one more step towards dynamic relationships this week.